Hey everyone, how's it going? It's me, it's Korzak. Welcome back to part 12 of the Dark Cloud 2 walkthrough. So in this episode, all we're doing is wiping out all the dungeons until we can't go any further. So in this level, we need to attack and defeat everything with just Max's right hand weapon. So it would be a good idea if we uh, put, put as much smash onto it as we possibly can. Since there's just going to be, uh, just so many, uh, the, so the, the yo-yo robot enemies that we need to fight require a lot of smash to, uh, have decent damage against, so we're just gonna put that on here. We are also gonna need chill on this weapon, and the exorcism and scale later, so we'll put the garnet on here too. And we'll just use our last three points for putting chill onto our weapon. Just give this thing a nice little boost, make things a tad easier. Alright, so that should be a nice little bump. I think we need about 40 chill, or 45 chill, something like that. Let's see if I'll be able to upgrade this thing into the cubic hammer. I'm kind of worried about accidentally smacking one of these things' balls back at them, and then having that count against the metal. Alright, I'm gonna heal up, and also feed our fish. It's good to kind of feed your fish as much as you can during your playthrough to keep the stats up. Yeah, like, I think the thing's tenacity has gone up a little bit from me feeding him. The thing's strength, uh, strength stats and whatnot will go up from uh, having him do battle in the battle tank. So it is good to have multiple fish so that you can have them battle each other and you can also uh, just kind of have them battle each other. You keep feeding them and you have them breed with each other. That's the best way to make your fish as powerful as possible. Kind of doing that slowly over your playthrough is going to be the most effective way of getting it done. But there is a glitch with the aquarium, unfortunately, for where uh, you can open it up in the map and feed your fish, and then it turns off the game audio, unfortunately. Well, the music part. The sound effects are still there, but the uh, music is gone, which is annoying. I didn't quite see that. I think I just got a ride pod fuel. It could have been something else. I looked away from the screen for a sec, so I kind of missed that. Well, there aren't really many useless items in this game, so no matter what it was, it was probably something useful to have. Nice. It's always good to get more of those. Ah, scrap of metal, so that's probably what I got before, too. Still not complaining. <laughs> Let's go this way. Backtrack a little bit so we don't have to do a lot later. Boom. It was definitely worth coming this way. Okay, we're going to uh, repair this bad boy and put more chill onto it. We're running out of crystals. Yeah, it needs more still. Ah, I thought I was going to get that attack in, but I did not. Ah, 
I think I'm getting all this stuff because I have Borneo. Yes. Okay. I'm cutting it a little close. I kind of want to save my items, but... Yeah, I'm not going to risk it. So, uh, let's eat a chestnut, why not? Well, that didn't work. <laughs> I hope the last enemy is not a robot, because then we don't have to use a repair powder. And then we can just have Cedric fix us up. Nice, it's a gem rod. Last enemy, easy enemy. And that's how it's done. <laughs> Oh, and we got the shortest wipe time medal. Nice. I'm not going out of my way to grind for medals, but I do want to try and get 40 by maybe chapter 5 approximately. Just so we can get Monica her second best in slot armband. It's the only glitch I'm going to use. It doesn't actually like really... I already said this, but it just saves you so much time. If you just use that and make your own weapon. You also need to use a name change ticket anyway to get one of the trophies. So it's kind of a two for one. Alright, the next one's a Monica weapon. Or a Monica level. So we can actually just kind of do this one first and then go see Cedric. Too far. Uh, here we go. Okay, so you need to have bombs for this, or you need to have the patience of a sloth. <laughs> and a stack of weapon repair powder. So, just just get the stack of bombs by talking to Eric. It'll save you just so much hassle. This should pretty much be the last time where you really need bombs to actually progress through the story. As I find by the next Red Seal level, Monica just has really good equipment already for where it's not really that big of a deal. So you actually have to beat this level twice. Um, it's just so we can unlock both routes, and we do have to go both routes to complete this place. So we have no choice. The only problem with this sword is it literally breaks after fighting three three elephants. Let's take a look at this. Cool. We're going to repair this. Okay, so we are going to leave its stats for now. I'm not really going to waste any crystals on it because this sword I mainly want to just get to plus 5 so we can break it down onto another weapon that we get for 100% Giorama in this chapter. 
So we can't actually go from 0 to 100% Giorama all at once. In um, Chapter 3, we have to get to a certain point where we can unlock uh, one thing in the future, and then we can go to the future to then unlock the rest of what we need to do. So there will pretty much be two separate Giorama videos. Okay, so you need the bombs for these guys. Your sword will probably be doing like three damage per hit against them. <laughs> sure, you could throw a bomb at them and then just take it down the rest with take it down the rest of the way with your sword if you really want to, and that's fine. Just so that you're not kind of wasting experience by giving it to your brassard. Because if you if you're playing it like I am, you're literally never going to use your brassard until you get the one later on with the name change ticket. Nice. <laughs> well, that was about the only thing that could have been helpful. We'll grab this one, or we're gonna go this route. I really wanted to I could probably lure this guy over to the other side of the bridge and then just kind of throw a bomb to take out both of the elephants at once if you're okay with playing the waiting game then you can do that or if you just want to get this done as quickly as possible because you don't actually need all 20 bombs to complete this place it just kind of helps to have because you're still gonna need bombs for later in the game anyway oh my goodness All right, we're back. <laughs> um, yeah, we're pretty much at about the same spot that we were before. So it seems like this map actually just has the same layout no matter how you run it. Well, I mean, this is just the second time I've done it, so who knows. But the actual enemy spawn spots are slightly different. Since we're here, we may as well break the seal. So I'm not going to go through this door this time. I'm going to go through the other one since it seems like it's going to be more efficient. Since there's monsters up there anyway. The next time that we run this map though, however, we are going to have to go the uh, other route on purpose. Because you need to go through the sun route and the moon route. You need to clear both to open up both paths in this level. So I've just kind of been doing this to take care of the enemies because I, I didn't really want to do the sword play thing again because it does take a little while. My, well, my, br my brassard will be like plus five. <laughs> so it'll be nice and breakdown worthy, I suppose. Nice little uh, efficient for the spectrumized points. Or nice and efficient for the spectrumized points, I should say. Alright. Well, time to give our fish something. Well, we have an Eevee, so why don't we give that to him? Ah, no, I'll hold on to that. He'll, we can use it for fishing in the next chapter. Yeah, see, this is a glitch with the game, because now the this level's music is gone, except for when you're in combat. Oh, wow. <laughs> the last enemy ha gave us the meat, too. Well, we got the uh, shortest wipeout time for that, so not bad. All right, so we're going through the moon exit this time. So we're gonna have to go through the sun next time.
All right, so let's just save the save it up. Now we got to rerun this level again. We aren't limited to just using Monica though, so now we can kind of hop on the ride pod or whatever. Steve will just tear this level up because these enemies are basically designed for him. Who knows, maybe we'll get some more ice crystals. <laughs> Help out our wrench a little bit. A lot of rocks, maybe we'll get some ride pod. Wow. <laughs> Before I even finished my sentence. Nice. Well, maybe we'll get an another one. Who knows? No. But uh, that's helpful for sure. Uh, so we have three now. I think the maximum you can have at once is five, I believe. Yeah, you can feed this guy quite often, huh? Oh yeah, but that, that's the problem, because now this game's audio is gone again. That's okay. We won't be in here for very long anyway. It is definitely noticeable not having the music, however. We'll use our bell trigger for this thing. No, we will not, because well, I should not have gotten on Steve. He has no way to defend himself. All we need is the meat this time. We already have the Geostone. So there's nothing really in here for us other than... Oh, and we got it. I, I don't even know what to say. That's just pure luck. <laughs> well, we literally don't need anything else from here, but those enemies are super condensed together, so it's going to be very efficient if I take them out. So it looks like Steve is going to get some XP. <laughs> I guess these elephants like shrimp or something, because they're carrying a lot of it. Gunpowder, literally used for nothing. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I, I think you can use it to make bombs later. Or it's one of the materials you need for making bombs. Alright, well, seems like he's done. Okay, let's get out of here. We went the moon route last time, so we're gonna go the sun route this time. And it is the same, okay. I think it's just the same because there are two different, this is a crossroads, you can go two different ways here. So I think that's why the map is the exact same. All right, both routes are open now and it's time to go. <laughs> Okay. Now we're gonna go have Cedric fix this up a bit, and we're gonna make have Eric make us more bombs, because we can still sell his bombs and make money. Let's go here, it'll be faster. Because if you go to the station in the same zone, it'll kind of start you out at a less than ideal spot and you kind of have to do a bit more backtracking. So this is the most efficient way. We may as well upgrade the core. And we'll pick up one of these things too. Eric will uh, make us more stuff. This guy is definitely the most used and abused in this series. He literally, he comes, he joins your party, he makes you bombs, and then you just kick him out. You don't need him anymore at, at, at that point. Oh, 
Oh, we can probably feed our fish again, too. We'll give them a batten this time. We have a crap load of those. Okay, back to Balance Valley. <laughs> Starlight Canyon. Uh, we only need to do two levels over here, so we might as well take this route out first. Why not? We can try for Monica's Metal, but I don't think this floor is gonna... If there's a single golem on here, I'm not gonna do it. But we do need to get her sword to plus five anyway, so it's worth doing this for sure. That's a deadly trunk. If it, yeah, as I was gonna say, if it hits me even one time, I might be done. It didn't quite happen, but it was close. Why did I repair? I, I wanted to heal her. Wasn't paying attention. I'm gonna try to avoid using the crunchy bread, just because it's, you don't ever get it again. So I'd rather save it for when you really need it. So it's plus two. So after this level, I want to get it two more levels. And then I'm basically going to ignore Monica until we get the Serpent Sword. But so far, it seems quite possible for doing this with just her sword. If there's a if there's a single golem, though, I'm, I'm not going to do it. Because I don't have the patience to do that. Especially if there's going to be more than one. <laughs> And I don't think you guys want to watch me slap a golem for literally 10 minutes either. Because when she has a really powerful sword, she can get this level done in like 2 minutes easily. Basically one shot everything later. It's not as efficient obviously. So it's kind of better to do it now if possible. There is going to be the inevitable late game grind, however, to get the medals. Okay, we got a ram over here. Well, it is a beast, so it makes sense that it's going to take a lot of damage from that. This sword should have some beast on it from what I remember. Yeah good amount, and I think it's also weak against flame. King Mimic, pulling out the big guns. If this is the hardest enemy I have to fight, I can live with that. He's gonna take a lot of my weapon hit points, though. Oh, and my actual hit points. I gotta be more careful. This thing is literally licking me. That's kind of gross. Getting licked will make you thirsty, apparently. According to the logic of King Mimics. <laughs> I think there's an elephant over here. Yes. This floor seems to have the same layout as the previous one. Nice. That was pretty clean. 
We got the uh, power crystal, or a power crystal from that, and we got the giant meat. So far, I haven't seen any golems, so I think we should be able to get this medal. Goes around the corner, <laughs> four golems. <laughs> I hope not, that would kind of suck. I don't think there are any on this floor, however, though. We're just gonna have to wait and see. It's the only way to find out for sure. There are a lot of mimics. We're using a lot of repair powders, but we're getting them back just as quick, if not faster. So it's not even a big deal, really. Although maybe I'm just getting lucky, too. <laughs> I'm gonna grab that thing after since I'm probably gonna have to backtrack here anyway. Yeah, this is a dead end. But there's probably an enemy down here, so we have no choice, really. Yep. Well, that helps. Yeah, there's a few enemies this way. It doesn't seem like we're going to have to deal with any golems, though, so that's good. A lot of enemies in this area deal damage to you even when you're blocking. Am I plus three now or plus four? Plus four, so just one more level. All right, well now that our HP is weakened and our weapon is br breaking a little bit, now seems like a good time to get that because if it's negative, it's no big deal because I was gonna have to use an item anyway. And then if it's positive, it saves me from using an item. So efficiency at its finest. <laughs> You also don't have to open these things, by the way. You can just leave them. Cool, we got a positive. ABS bonus, not bad. I'm not complaining. King Mimic, now I'm complaining. <laughs> I'm gonna keep my HP up because this thing can actually do a lot of damage. Like that. So it seems like the best way to deal with these things is to get behind him. Because you can kind of circle around him quicker than he can turn around, it seems. So that's good. Not as hard as the first one, once you know that trick. Okay, easy. Nice. And that is how you get it done. Cool. It's always good to keep saving. <laughs> Clear all without healing. It's a blue seal too. That's easy enough. This is pretty much just all the um, little dragon thingies. Uh, what do you call them? Uh, we're gonna see like 17 of them soon enough anyway. <laughs> the gemrons. This is like a gemron only floor. Don't heal. Immediately takes damage. <laughs> it 
This is a decent level to level up the gun. Because the enemies kind of take okay damage. It's not too bad from your gun. If I was using the Jirak gun right now, it would be much better. I think we need to put scale onto this thing here anyway to level it. Yeah. So, I don't mind kind of putting a little bit of scale onto this thing right now. Just to make this level a tad easier. All we have to do is not heal. <laughs> okay, well, I can't really do anything against that. So we're just going to have Steve handle this. The enemies are really spaced out in this level, huh? I would love it. I would love it if I got some more chill crystals. That would be nice. <laughs> It'll come eventually. The gun always needs uh, seems to need a lot of experience to level up. I'm not going to hop in there, because if I do, I won't get the metal. This place does have some nice music. Okay, they were spaced out, but they're all down here at the bottom. Like, literally all of them. <laughs> that chest is on the other side, unfortunately. From what I remember, the Holy Gemrons take the least amount of damage. Well, there's the piece of meat. We don't actually have to clear all the enemies on this floor. We just have to not heal. <laughs> and we'll get the metal. We do need to take out all of the enemies, though, if we want to get the shortest wipeout. Uh, the shortest uh, wipeout time metal. There's a lot of chests here. Map. Not a bad find. Sorry if there's any background noise. There's a garbage truck outside. Yeah, these guys are pretty weak when it comes to Steve. The barrel cannon's really good.
Oh yeah, so the ice gemrons can probably drop chill crystals. Well, maybe we beat the time challenge for uh, getting the other metal, who knows. Yes, we did. Sweet. Now we should get the other medal for not healing. Yes. So there's nothing for us to actually do in this area yet. So we're just going to exit and go over to Cedric and have him fix up the ride pod again for us. It's better than using the ride pod fuel because that's kind of a rare commodity. So you don't really want to go using it when you don't have to. I'm not going to make him fix my weapons again. I just want him to fix up the ride pod. Nice and easy. Let's feed our fish. We're just gonna give him more batten. See, now he loves batten. Yeah, his tenacity's going up from us feeding him. Okay, back to Balance Valley. <laughs> or the Starlight Canyon, I should say. Warrior in Starlight Canyon. Well, this is a Steve mission. We're not supposed to heal, and we need to attack and defeat everything with the ride pods, so let's go get it. So you actually can. Um, you can get a seal breaker, or you can walk into a, one of those healing fountains if you like, and they'll still heal you, even with the white seal on this place. Let's see if I can get that guy from back here, because those things are really annoying to deal with. Okay. Aw, oh, man, he turned around. These guys suck. Come on. I think he's going to turn around. Maybe? Ideally. Oh man, this guy, this guy's, is just, he's being tricky. Yeah, here we go. So now we have, we have no choice. Cool. That didn't take too long. Got some golems over there. We're just going to pick up our geostone first. And then we'll handle those guys. Let's get them away from the ledge first, though, before we handle them. We don't want our experience points falling off the ledge, do we? Nice. I love getting the map early on. Keeps things efficient. Aw, oh, man, that sucks. <laughs> that really sucks. We have to be more careful with him now. Because we can't use Ride Pod Fuel when there's a white seal either, because it's technically a healing item. Repair Powder's fine, but that's it. So I think Max is going to get some free experience.
Just as long as the attacks are with the ride pod, it doesn't matter if the experience goes to max or anything. A lot of chests. This is a pretty small map, actually. I think we have like six or seven minutes to clear this place out, too. I don't think we're going to need that much. Okay, let's just throw up a repair powder. One of these is probably a mimic. Yeah. Oh, and just be aware that mimics can do like a very long jump, so they can really mess your day up. It's, yeah, like that. It's good to always be moving. More chests. One of these is probably a mimic. <laughs> Oh man, there's two tribesmen right here, I think. Yeah, that's a pain. Okay, that could have went worse. Gotta do it again. Ah, oh, that's just, that's just annoying. I hate these things. Well, it's really just because Steve has a ranged weapon. If he was using a melee one, this would be a lot easier, as he can guard them. The ranged weapons are usually going to be faster and more powerful, but you do lose the benefit of being able to guard. Gotta use another one. That's okay. Oh, man. Aw. Oh. And of course my second shot didn't go off, so we still gotta play around with this guy anyway. These mass tribesmen are what's taking up all the time. So if I don't get it, it's probably because of these guys making me need to uh, swap between Max and Steve so much. Nice. It's good to have those. They're not the most common crystal. Okay, so it seems like one of these guys gives 60 experience per. It's not bad. Is this a clown? Yes, it is. Oh my goodness, that just sucks. I had a feeling I should have picked the other one too. That literally would have been the coin that I needed for Donnie too, and then I would have had the complete collection. That's no big deal because I can just buy it, but <laughs> when it's right there and you don't get it, it kind of it kind of sucks. Oh well. No big deal. Okay, this is the last mob. Nice and easy. There's two medals, sweet. I feel like this is probably the easiest chapter to actually get medals while you're already playing in it. Playing in it. Because you have a lot of time given to you to actually complete these areas. Like, I think the time challenge for this spot was 6 minutes and 50 seconds. Oh, I was really... I almost failed it. But we still got it. It was definitely those tribesmen who were taking up all, the, all of our time. I think this is probably, if this is the level I think, then this is the one where it's good to level up Max's gun. Because it's a lot of the little fairy things. Yeah, it is. Sweet. 
These guys are weak against your gun, so it's a good spot to get some levels. Backtrack a little bit now so we don't have to do a lot later. Although I can't really do much here. Okay, well, we thinned out the herd pretty easily there. Knocking me into the healing pit. He deals damage just for just to let me heal myself right up after. Okay, just wanted to get him away from the ledge so he wouldn't lose the experience. It's time to uh, repair our gun a bit. Yeah, I thought I saw one. I have a good feeling about this one. And there was nothing in there. Oh well. There's probably a mimic here. There's a lot of treasure chests right here. Or maybe there's no mimics on this floor? Perhaps? Maybe. Oh, <laughs> there's a lot of mobs just right here in this line. Oh yeah, this is gonna be great. <laughs> Let's just take care of this lone wolf over here first. This guy might give us some ice crystals. Sweet. I didn't really need the heal, but I'm not complaining. It's better than getting something negative. Which is ideal to not have bad things happen. <laughs> yeah. Protector crystal. And I don't know what the other thing was. It didn't tell me. And bread. Oh, that bullet actually went all the way over there. <laughs> it didn't do any damage, though, because of how far away it was. We're getting a lot of elements. And I'm getting hit by this thing a lot. Okay, well, there's only three mobs left. Yeah, these metals are coming pretty easily. Cursed mask. We're just going to back out to get Max the heal and then come back in. We're at 18 medals. We're going to be at 40 in no time.
We got all the Geostones, right? For some reason, I don't remember. Yeah, cool. We did. Since we're in a menu, let's feed our fish again. <laughs> we have a serious amount of batten. So I guess this guy is going to be well fed with batten. I don't know if that's how you say it, but that's how I've been saying it. Batten or baton, who knows. It's always good to get those. I'm going to repair my gun and my wrench. What's Monix's sword looking like? Plus four. We have plenty of time to get her up to plus five. I am going to use Monica as a guinea pig. <laughs> I know it seems like I neglect Monica a lot, but I use her much more in the late game. Well, we got our meat, so there's literally no reason to be here anymore. Except for the Geostone. Sweet. That keeps things easy. So there are two routes that we can go, but we can't take one of these routes now. The uh, other one will need to wait until later in the game. Well, I can see from here that we can't go through that one, so we're going to take the other route over here. I will take this thing out, since it's a new enemy. For some reason, I can't fight this guy. So let's have Monica do it. And that's how you get it done. We're just going to back out again. So that we can, uh... Restore our HP for free. Free is usually always better. <laughs> I need to go show those pictures to Donnie. I'll probably do it in between the this episode and the next. Okay, so back to file one for our save. The Roly Poly Brothers. There's another new enemy in this floor. There's a scoop with this guy, but we'll get that all in one video later on. Max isn't very effective against Alphys over here. <laughs> Let's try and get Monica's sword up to plus five. Oh yeah, I forgot those things can heal other creatures. I didn't even see the thing at first, honestly. Let's just get her sword up to plus five, then we don't really need her for a little while.
early geostone not not bad at all Monica's lift up animation is so slow compared to Max's. I usually avoid picking things up with her. For that reason. It'd be kind of cool if enemies could steal your heal from these pools. I think it would be interesting to see, like, you knock an enemy into it and then they just go back to full HP. I mean, obviously it would be kind of annoying, but it would be sort of interesting, too. You gotta open up a booby trap key to get a key so you can open up other booby trap chests. I am so surprised she is still alive. I'll take one of these right now. Let's see if I can get her plus 5 within this weapon. Or before this weapon breaks, probably not. No, not gonna happen. We gotta use at least one more. Okay. <laughs> I was trying to pick it up while the enemy was giving us its experience, but that clearly didn't work out very well. Ivanov. This thing also has a scoop, but we're going to get that in a later video. Okay, I'm not going to fight that with her. These things can be pretty unpredictable too, so you want to be careful when you're slapping them around. I think this guy's weak against my gun. Well, he's not weak against it, but he takes decent damage. Yeah, see how much faster Max is at doing this? Two things of bread. Let's just go over here to make sure we didn't miss anything. There might be that one random enemy, you never know. When you don't have the map or compass. Yep, there is. And there's two chests, so who knows what could be over here. We're gonna have Monica finish this thing. All the exits right there, but we don't have the meat yet. I don't think we do anyway. We don't, right? Oh, we do, so we can leave. Well, I may as well just get Monica her last weapon level anyway. There's three enemies over there, so we'll probably be able to finish it up for her. And we did get the Geostone, right? Yes, we did. Okay, so let's just finish this up quickly. Two of these are going to be easy for her. Although we may just need the two anyway. I'm going to have Max weaken this for her. 
And she can finish it off, even if it's ineffective. Sweet. This might just be the map or a mimic. It's the map. So the other one might just be another mimic. Uh, there's only five enemies. Who knows, maybe we'll get the uh, time challenge medal. Let's just hop on Steve. And have him finish this up. It's not like we don't need the experience anyway. <laughs> Mr. Ivanhoff. Okay, so the last chest is loot. And we did get the metal suite, so it was worth doing that. Oh, I'm so happy I opened this. Who knows, maybe we'll have another chance at the, uh, at the coin. Frozen tuna. It kind of, it kind of hurts to get that at this point because of how close I am to upgrading the uh, smash wrench into the cubic hammer, but if I got that on like the first floor it would have been more interesting. But it'll still sell for a decent amount of gilda, so I'm not complaining. I could also just hold on to it until the last chapter, get it up to plus five, and then break it down for some efficient spectrumizing. Save after every floor, because you never know. It only takes one moment of complacency to have to redo stuff. Dragon Slayer. With the ride pod. Yeah, we're not... Steve isn't really well equipped enough for that. I'd have to use a... Uh, I'm gonna have to use uh, Ride Pod Fuel probably. I'm just gonna bite the bullet. This is what happens when you don't go to see Cedric. As now I have one less. Well, it seems like this floor was made for Steve. There's a lot of stronger enemies here. Man, they just love throwing these mass tribesmen at ya. I was kind of hoping that would be the map, but nothing's perfect. Okay, <laughs> this is like super mob dense. And of course there's a mass tribesman too. Although we got it, so not bad. <laughs> that was really smooth. It could have been a lot harder than it was. There is a scoop of the, uh, of one of those, of one of that dragon's abilities, however. I'm gonna use Monica as a guinea pig. Yeah, so there is a scoop of one of that dragon's abilities, but we're gonna get that in a later video with every other picture. That's okay, she's not gonna fight anymore in this level anyway. Actually, she's probably not gonna fight until the boss fight anyway. She her sword's plus five, so we don't really need her to do anything right now anymore for a little while. Mass tribesmen. This is like the worst. <laughs> I hate fighting these things with Steve. Ugh. Ugh. 
Sweet. Easy. It's nice when it goes smoothly. And we're gonna have to use another repair powder. It's really eating up all my weapon my weapon powders. It's okay, we do have a surplus anyway. Two thousand nine hundred and ninety nine XP, huh? How did I hit that thing? <laughs> that was pure luck. I hit that thing when I was fighting another monster, obviously. That is very lucky. It seems like this guy also just gives straight 60 XP. Just like Elphus. <laughs> Ugh. Ending on a, on a low note, huh? Oh well. Who knows, maybe this guy will be easy? No, he won't. Let's see if we just got two medals. And we did, sweet. Alright, so let's just check out Yorda's Valley. tree. It's holy. They say it's been here for thousands of years. First time I've ever seen it, though. Wow. I didn't think it would be this big. I'm worried about Lynn right now. We need to take care of Lynn. I don't think we should go any further for now. Yeah, I guess you're right. This right here is the path you would go to leave this place. I'm worried about Lynn. Let's not go any further just now. So we can't go further past this point. Now we need to do some Giorama. That is going to wait until the next episode though. So I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope you have a good day and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.